In our previous video, we discussed mise-en-scene and the various elements that make up the big picture. Today, we're going to look at one of the most immediate and powerful elements in mise-en-scene, color. A single change in color can shift the meaning completely. And in Stanley Kubrick's movies, color is king. As we move through the color spectrum, consider the role these colors play in Kubrick's visual storytelling. So, how important is color, and how does a master like Kubrick wield it? This is Color and Kubrick. To stay in the loop with our series on mise-en-scene, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications. Where can we find color in mise-en-scene? The four main areas are sets and location, props, costume, hair, makeup, and lighting. Things could be better, Lloyd. In Kubrick's mise-en-scene, you'll find color in all of these elements. In some cases, color dominates the mise-en-scene, and in others, it might play a supporting role. Good color cloak. Um, black, brown, red. Let's take a look at the myriad of ways he does it, starting with red. Red is everywhere in Kubrick's work. You will find it often in moments where threat or danger is imminent. I'm afraid, Dave. Or in scenes of emotional intensity. He is a very willful boy. Orange. Orange becomes a destructive color. From brooding candlelight to fire and flame. Yellow. When you love so long, we can find yellow and gold used for opulence and grandeur. And or as a way to isolate characters from the background. Kubrick uses green as a natural color, as symbols for life and death. Blue. 
blue. Kubrick isn't the only filmmaker to use blue as exaggerated moonlight. But he does add a layer of sin and guilt. Purple. For Kubrick, purple can be temptation. Do you suppose we should talk about money? Do you have to go? I have to go. I think I do. Are you sure? White. Kubrick often uses white for contrast. Either to allow other colors to pop, Great party, isn't it? Or to complicate our associations with white as a symbol of purity. Of all the elements of mise-en-scene, color plays a major role. Which color to use? How saturated or desaturated? How will the colors work in combination? Color theory isn't set in stone. What each color means is subjective, but we can all agree that colors mean something. Close your eyes and imagine a powerful scene. My mind is going. An emotional scene. Oh. Or a romantic scene. What colors do you see? Create a mood board for inspiration. Bring color into your storyboards. Studio Binder was designed to facilitate this process. Make the use of color in your next project a priority. In the next episode of our series on mise-en-scene, we'll look at the role of set design and location and how Tim Burton conjures up entire worlds. It's showtime. Until next time, have a colorful day. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Subscribe as we continue our coverage of filmmaking techniques, and don't forget to enable notifications 